and I think part of it, like we are hearing some extra gain on the voice. We are hearing, um, we are hearing what sounds like a little bit of EQing to really bring out that hollow sound, which is fine. Some people think that's cheating. Some people are also kind of stupid. Um, those two people tend to be the same in my experience. Um, oh, what? He doubles his vocals. What a loser. And it's like, bro, what have you recorded? Shut up. Um, but um, I love this sound. What the f*** is up, Danny's, if you know, you know. Mark with Cardivox Academy here, and today we're checking out the new Acacia Strain, Untended Graves. Uh, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool stuff from what I'm told. Now, I'm excited about this for a couple reasons. Number one, the Acacia Strain is not a band I ever, like, super deeply got into. Not for any particular reason, I was just more so on, like, the, uh, like, the, like, folk metal, Viking metal train at that time. Um, not really a lot of what I listen to now, but like instead of uh, the Acacia Strain, I was listening to a lot of like Elwaiti and things like that. So just kind of circling back, having a chance to listen to it is pretty fun. And also, uh, I don't know if he goes by Vince or Vincent. I'm not sure. So well, I'll go with Vincent since it's more pros uh, proper. Um, his vocals are some that I've never really been able to fully pin down, you know, on this channel. What I do is I do a lot of uh, vocal analysis, right? These are reaction videos uh, built around an educational format where I talk about vocal production, uh, specifically in the, or mostly in the harsh vocal world. I myself am a vocal instructor teaching people how to make all sorts of metal noises, you know, uh, safely and efficiently for years to come, um, making sure that they understand their voice and they can use it properly. And I'm a metal vocalist myself. I'm in a band called Kardashev. We uh, released our first album on Liminal Right earlier this, or first album called Liminal Right on Metal Blade Records earlier this year. Uh, so I know a lot about the voice and I teach a lot of people how to do it, but I don't know, something about his uh, vocals always were, kind of, uh, always were kind of hard for me to pin down as far as producing them myself. So this will be a lot of fun for me to kind of explore and and be, uh, be a little bit more, be a little bit more speculative on, I, uh, I suppose. Um, now, if you like the uh, content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It means a lot to watch the channel grow. You'll be no you'll notice I am wearing a Cardivox Academy uh, official T-shirt. We do have a merch shop. We've been selling a lot of shirts, which is awesome. It's cool to see. Uh, it's cool to see those being enjoyed by people all around the world. Um, we've got a lot of different designs. We're putting some more up soon. So. Uh, take a take a look at that. We've also got a Patreon where we've got a Discord community full of uh, fellow vocalists. A lot of my students are in there, um, as well as uh, other people who just are enthusiastic about music. We have listening parties every Friday night. Go check it out. Um, but beyond that, I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Um, let's go ahead. Let's double check our... Uh, I'll do a hard cut, but uh, let's double check our levels and make sure everything is recording properly. And then check out the Acacia Strain Untended Graves. Here we go. Okay, cool. So let's talk about a couple things here. So first and foremost, um, right after, you know, starting doing that whole spiel about how, you know, his vocals are, are kind of, have always kind of been tricky for me. He's playing it really close to the chest here, actually. This, like, he has some, like, uh, Vincent has some really cool sounds that he does with his voice. A lot of, like, very head voicey, very vocal breaky type of stuff. This is, uh, this is a, a lot more easy, uh, well, a lot more, um, a lot more accessible of a style for a lot of people. This is this is very much just like a hardcore. I, mean, I shouldn't say just because I don't want to sound like I'm being a reductionist here. But this is 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 a hardcore barky belt, right? This is similar to stuff that you hear uh, with bands such as Kublai Khan. Um, you know what I'm saying with uh, with that like really belty barky. Now this is not my sound. I'm much more of like a sludgy like <laughs> type of guy. But you know if I was to 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 go for something like now his other sounds, I'm not even gonna try it. I'm not I'm not even gonna make you guys listen to that. But this sound, it's a lot more of this barky like. Oh, you want to fuck me up? Sorry, sorry, whoa. Where basically what I'm doing is I'm taking uh, a false chord fundamental sound. Uh, hey, hey, wah, bah, very old school, and I'm mixing it with what the fuck is up, guys? Whoa, 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 hey! And I put those two sounds together, and I get sort of this hardcore belt. Now he sounds like a specialist of this. I sound like somebody who just does it for fun. Um, 
But one thing that's really important to know if you're going to go for this style, uh, if you're going to go for this hardcore, uh, I like to call this like the hardcore belt. I'm not the only one. Many people call it that. Um, but, you know, it is it is a voiced scream. And as such, whenever we're using our voice in our vocals, right, whenever we're using our voice in our vocals, we need to be very uh, we need to be very careful about the way that we generate our distortion. Oftentimes when I'm teaching people like um these sorts of hardcore belts and shouts, we work on their clean voice first. And our goal is not necessarily to make them an amazing clean singer. They don't have to be. It helps, but it, they don't have to be. But to teach them how to shift resonance and to place resonance without uh, adding strain onto the vocal cords. A lot of times new vocalists or self-taught vocalists who are going for a hardcore sound, they'll understand, right? Because people have a more intuitive ear than oftentimes they give themselves credit for. But they'll have an understanding of what this is, the, the false chord sound, mixed with uh, the the clean voice. But the clean voice, instead of being like, hey, what's up guys, whoa, where my, vo my vocal cords, there's not a, lot of sque not a lot of squeeze here. Most of what's happening is ooh, ooh, ooh. Sort of like this, uh, this, this um, very resonant head voice space, right? They'll go, hey, what's up guys, ah, do you hear that? Hey, what's up guys, what's going on, yeah, versus, hey, what's up guys, what's going on, yeah. You can hear how the first one is much more squeezed on the vocal cords, and, what can happen with this is you can create uh, a lot of muscular tension. You can create uh, um, improper connection of the vocal tissue. And sometimes it doesn't hurt right in the moment. Sometimes it doesn't cause any issues that week. But, you know, three, four, five years down the road, you may realize your speaking voice doesn't feel quite as good as it used to. Um, now, I'm not uh, a doctor, so that's where I would ship you off to a medical professional. But, um, yeah, something to think about. He's playing it really close to the chest here, which makes me excited for... Uh, I am going to I am going to say I, I did see a little bit of a spoiler in the comments when I pulled this video up. I'm not going to say what it is. So I know he's kind of I know he's kind of holding back a little bit. Um, but let's see where he goes. Also, this video is gorgeous, even with like the 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 nasty worms. It's beautiful. Well, like, this is a beautiful video. I love the color and everything. Let's keep going, though. <clears throat> Okay, it sounds like we have a break there. So <clears throat> those are a lot more of the vocals that I think of when I think of the uh, the Acacia Strain, right? Again, not a band I was ever like super into uh, just because I was, I was listening to different stuff um, when they were like really exploding, exploding in the scene, right? But that sound is the one that I think is really interesting, right? Because it certainly sounds like it, 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 it's, uh, and you know, if you do these type of vocals, feel free to, uh, comment kind of what you like to do or how you like to go about it in the comments below. You know, like I say many times, I know, I, I know how to make a lot of sounds, but I don't know how to make all of them. So I'm always interested in, in what y'all have to say. There's no, there's no shame in my game. Uh, so feel free to, feel free to tell me, uh, what you do if you like to do these types of vocals, but it sounds like it builds on this hardcore belt. However, when he really leans into the style that, that I think is very unique to him, I don't hear as much of that false chord rattle. I hear a lot of that sort of fry tone sitting around the vocal break, right? And with that vocal break, like right around that passaggio, he gets this really interesting resonance that I can't quite, you know, if you're a vocalist, uh, you probably spend a lot of time just making goofy sounds and uh, playing with goofy mouth shapes. I've been doing that for a long time, but for some reason, this sound, it's a little hard for me to pin down. Um, I do really, really like it though. Um, I haven't heard it in a long time, but I really enjoy it. I actually want to, I'm, I'm going to roll the video back a little bit so you all can kind of hear that, but you can hear, well, I think you can hear his voice kind of around like this uh, space, uh, space. Now I'm not going to attempt this scream because quite frankly, I'm not really sure how I would start and I'm not just going to blast my, it would be a very bad, uh, I wouldn't be leading by example as a as a, a vocal teacher if I just blasted out my vocal folds here on video in front of all of you um, or off video. So I'm not really going to go for it. Um, but it sounds like he's got like this very 
very wide, very rounded sound around his bo vocal break that he's leaning into with distortion, right? And it's like, yeah, I can say that on paper, but I have a hard time doing it. And I, ah, like maybe I, maybe this is the next sound I should play around with. But he gets like a lot, and I think part of it, like we are hearing some extra gain on the voice. We are hearing, um, we are hearing what sounds like a little bit of EQing to really bring out that hollow sound, which is fine. Some people think that's cheating. Some people are also kind of stupid. Um, those two people tend to be the same in my experience. Um, oh, what? He doubles his vocals. What a loser. And it's like, bro, what have you recorded? Shut up. Um, but um, I love this sound. And I love how I love how um, hollow, how hollow and, and, and heady it sounds. So I'm going to roll it back. I don't really remember where this happened. Uh, I'm going to roll it back to, let's say, 43 seconds. 44 seconds, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to die. Yeah, that is a that is a really cool res. That's a really cool placement. Um, you know, here's a really good idea. Um, recently, on here on the channel, we did a video where for the first time, now a lot of people have done this before. I'm late to the late to the game as always, but I reacted to a bunch of uh, TikTok metal vocalists, and so we're gonna start doing more of that because people really loved it. So if you like to do vocals like this, right? Do a TikTok of yourself doing it. Hashtag Cardivox Academy because that's that's kind of what we're gonna what we're gonna do moving forward. I'll search hashtag Cardivox Academy and see what people because you know I want to make sure I'm giving critiques to people who are asking for critiques. I don't want to give just unwanted advice to people who are just having a good time. But you know, throw some of these on on TikTok if you're doing that, and then the next time I scroll through, maybe I'll find some of them and and maybe I'll learn something from you. That'd be a cool that'd be a cool fun change. Anyways, let's keep the song rolling though. But I love that like woo woo woo. Resonance underneath it. And then, of course, he puts all this stuff on it that just sounds so cool. Um, you know, and I, it's so interesting. I like, I have no problem making sounds like, you know, <laughs> but this, this is tricky. gonna be good this is gonna be good the sound i'm talking about right all the other stuff that he's doing hardcore belt sounds awesome pretty pretty accessible similar to the 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 example i gave gave at the beginning of the video right you can place it in different areas high mid low all that stuff the way that he says soil that's that resonance space that i'm talking about that's tricky right and 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 maybe that's the next thing i do i'm gonna peel it back though because that's a oh god that outro the thing that i saw in the comments is somebody said oh the last 17 seconds are amazing so i kind of knew this was coming but um Cheesy, crazy. Let's put it. Let's put it to the last seventeen seconds. What a! I, I'm a, anybody who's watched this channel before knows that my favorite part of a song tends to be the outro, and this is tasty. Now, me, I would have extended it five minutes, but I'm also kind of like insane, um, and I really like outros. Like a five minute outro, I'm into it. Uh, that's not everybody. So let's go ahead. Let's listen to this again and listen for the way he says "soil." God, that's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> Like, 
he's it sounds like he's pulling the sound back and releasing it forward at the same time and normally normally when vocalists when we as vocalists do that it creates a lot of tension in the voice and it creates a real disconnect between our body and the sound that we're creating, right? I tell my students, it's uh, I call tell my students, it's like the diving board, like the like the scared diving board sound. Like you're running towards the diving board, and then you get scared, and your body's pulling you forward, but you want to go backwards. You know, a lot of the times people who pull back and shoot forward have that issue, but it sounds so natural and it sounds so open. Again, we are listening through some extra gain and some EQ, but you can hear you can hear what's underneath that. Right. You can tell that those effects are being put on there to season the dish, not hide the dish. So I feel like what we're hearing is still pretty, pretty representative of what's going on. And it's like the tongue, like I'm just guessing here, y'all, um, which is kind of fun. Normally on these videos, I'm like, here's exactly what's going on. <laughs> right. Or, <laughs> but, you know, with this, I'm, I don't know, it's kind of fun to speculate a little bit, but it sounds like the tongue is bowling up. Oh, oh, oh. So, 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 yeah, so my tongue is bowling up, my tongue is bowling up, so, my jaw is kind of pulling back, so, but my lip is pushing forward, so, and I'm building on a masky, eh. now here's the thing, I really, I really think, and I could be wrong here, but I really think he's, he's utilizing a head voice sound, right, he's not down here, he's, hey, up here, so, so, so. I think that something like that is sitting underneath. And that's the reason why this resonance and this specific thing can be kind of difficult, right? Because now we're using vocal cords. When I do something like, you know, when I do something like this, like it's just all texture. My vocal cords, well, that last one was a little bit, a little bit fry heavy, but my vocal cords aren't really involved. Sorry, my dog's crying. So if you hear him, I don't know what to do about it. Um, he wants to go outside, but he has to wait. Um, but that's all texture. My vocal cords really aren't involved unless I'm doing something more fry focused, right? Um, whereas with this, when we talk about the vocal cords, right, we have length, we have thickness, right? So they can be long and thin, they can be short and thick. And all of those things affect the way that the vocal cords are gonna vibrate and the sounds that we're gonna get. So it adds like a whole new variable to it. Um, Anyways, I could talk about that for a long time, but it's really fascinating. And again, if anybody likes to do acacia strip, you know, maybe we should see if we can get uh, Vincent on the channel. That would be a cool idea. I've heard he's a really rad guy. So maybe he'd, maybe he'd be down to, to, to school me to show me the ropes on a video. That would be a really cool idea. Um, if you want to see Vincent on the channel, type it in the chat below. Maybe we can convince him. Um, but anyways. This is a banger of a song. This is a banger of a song. There are a couple things. If you're going to go, if you're going to try for some of these vocal styles, I'm a firm believer in learning something very simple, like a bass level fry or a bass level false chord first, just to sort of understand how your voice works as an instrument before you start doing more advanced stuff like this. Um, that's just my take, though. That's my opinion. Um, understanding your voice for what it is versus trying to make it match what somebody else is doing is a really, is a really smart place to start. Uh, and a way, uh, a way that you can ensure, well, maybe not ensure, but you can really do as much as you can to have a healthy voice for, like I said, many years to come. Anyways, I'm just rambling because I'm having a lot of fun here, but I'm sure that's uh, not something y'all want to listen to. So with that, I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, a little less educational than the previous ones because... This is a little bit out, outside of my wheelhouse, but a lot of fun. I actually had more fun making this video than I have some of the previous ones. Uh, so thank you all for your time, for watching. Um, if you are interested in vocal lessons and learning how to uh, create all sorts of crazy distortion, maybe not like this just yet, um, but um, you know, if you want to learn how to do uh, cool vocal sounds, uh, check us out at cardvoxacademy.com. It's where we also have our merch. Check us out on Patreon. Hang out on our Discord server. Like, share, subscribe, that, that, that. All that stuff. Um, that's all I got for you. That's all I have. Many thanks. Much love. I'm out.